Did I get someone? Nope. Oh my gosh. Ah! 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 Oh! Hey guys, this is Brandon. Today I thought about doing a video that would recap all of the progress that has been made on Otto. Uh, for those who don't know, Otto is an atmospheric sword dueling game that features a visually driven story, exploration to find new abilities, and intense one-on-one -on -one combat encounters. I'll first go through some of the new things, and then for the later portion of the video, we'll just go over features that have been made since I started the Indiegogo. Afterwards, I'll briefly talk about my thoughts regarding release date and the project status as a whole. As of right now, the game's final boss and ending have been coded in, which is great. I also made a handful of side bosses, I just need to script them into their appropriate rooms. There's also going to be these optional time trial sequences that will be added to the game. Uh, this one specifically, you just have to quickly get all the pickups before the time runs out to complete the challenge. There's plenty of other things that have been added and minor fixes and tweaks and bug fixes, but uh, for the sake of the video length I'm not going to go over that. And so for the rest of the video, we'll just do a recap on content that has been added since the Indiegogo launch. People like pixel art, so I thought I might as well just kind of recap over some uh, sprite work that has been done for some characters and uh, different animation work for uh, pickups and so on. Actually, the, the art style of the game is deliberately made to be very silhouette based. Um, instead of having like a, a line art based style, kind of like if you draw like a cartoon character, uh, there's a lot of cleanup that goes into that sort of a process, and so instead, all the characters rely solely on a silhouette-based art style, and it doesn't even use shading very much, and so it just results in a much more simpler color scheme, and also gives the benefit of having more frames. Uh, versus if I didn't, uh, ha if I had more detail and shading and lines, the uh, there would be less frames to work with. You might even notice there's some UI work that has been tweaked a little bit. Little things like the health bar will shake when you get hit. These these clips specifically are showcasing features such as sword clashing. If you swing your sword and you hit the enemy's sword at the same time, it'll you'll clash. It doesn't do anything specifically, but it does kind of knock you both away from each other. There's also combo animation work. So nothing too major, but little little details like that that have been added to make it just feel a little bit more visceral. Actually, the so the clip in the beginning of this video that you saw was from a celebration stream for the Indiegogo because it hit its goal. If you scroll down a little bit below this video, you can click the read more option and there'll be uh, some important links that you can access. Uh, this lighting test right here was a bit tricky to code in. Uh, mostly because of having to work with adjusting the shape of the ground collision in order to properly cast shadows. Yeah, little little technical details that you don't really notice, but you you appreciate from the the front end when you're actually playing a game versus uh, having to deal with a lot of nuances from behind the scenes. The water uses a rectangle that I can change the shape of, and it uses what's called a shader. It's it's just fancy code that basically allows you to manipulate the visuals of something. And so in this case, we're manipulating the visual of the rectangle to reflect uh, whatever's above it. And that's about all I have to uh, recap. There's plenty of music, bosses, cutscenes, and, and so on that I have not shared. So I think it's time to talk about the big picture in terms of work left and when the game will come out. In terms of production, what's currently on my plate is to add features like getting the side content rooms in, menu system, and map. Now this, and probably a handful of bugs to fix. There's they never run out of bugs. For those who don't know what bugs are, it's just, it, they're just issues that cause problems in the game. That's, that's it. It's like misspelling a word in a sentence, and you, you go in to fix the, the misspelled word. That's, that's all it is. Sometimes they're really big, and sometimes they're small. Uh, afterwards, I want to do a public beta and have people play through the game. I'll do my best to try and get rid of as many bugs as possible during this time before I let people download it. Um, I'm willing to listen, especially if people actually play through it, and I am willing to make some drastic changes and improvements. However, I do want to state clearly that 
the concept of fun can become extremely subjective and that not every single bit of feedback will just be thrown into the game. And please, if you actually are excited for this game, don't stand to the side and just wait for launch, because if there aren't enough people to properly play through the beta, the game will just end up being rushed and will likely disappoint a lot of people later down the road. Speaking of uh, release dates, I had the thought of releasing it early next year, but uh, oof. there's a lot of really big games coming out. In fact, there's so much stuff that keeps coming out. I mean, just look at how many games get released on Steam every day. It, it definitely is very difficult to find the perfect release window, especially if I don't have a, a huge following. And so, regardless, I definitely do not want to delay the game to Kingdom Come and just keep saying when it's done. You know, I want to make a good game, but I also want to be able to ship it to you guys at a reasonable time. So, as it stands, uh, I want to shoot for next year still, and I'll just have to play it by ear, depending on how the beta playthroughs go. So if you want to stay in touch with that, I would highly recommend joining the Discord. Uh, if, again, if you click the read more option below this video, you'll find a link that goes to the Discord. You'll have to make an account for that. Um, the reason why I'm recommending the Discord is because it will be a lot easier for me to read your feedback and address your problems versus trying to filter through uh, you know, internet noise from five different social media channels. Anyways, I, I hope this video was informative and gave you guys more insight as to what's going on. Thanks for watching.